Kill the infamous NW. Back in another video today. I'll be doing my Royal Rumble 2011 review because the one I did last night kind of epically failed when I put it together. So I deleted the old one. Here's the new one. Royal Rumble 2011. I ordered it live on pay per view for $55 in high definition. Um, so the first match of the night was Edge versus Dolph Ziggler. And my prediction for the match was well, going into this match on SmackDown. We saw that Vicky Guerrero banned the spear from this match, and uh, Edge was able to use use it in the World Heavyweight Championship match. And if he did, he would lose the match and lose the title to Dolph Ziggler. So going into the match, I thought Edge was going to win using the execution and get to one, two, three. And um, this match was uh, definitely a back and forth match. It got me on the edge of my seat. I honestly didn't know who was going to win halfway through the match. It started off slow, but it started really picking up throughout this started picking up slowly and started going faster and faster and I honestly didn't know who was going to win on this, some point in the match. I thought Edge was going to retain and all of a sudden I thought was going to win out of nowhere but at the end Edge wins. The um, best parts of the match were definitely when um, Edge got the execution and then one, two and then um, Vicky Guerrero pulled Edge out um, off uh, Dolph Ziggler, and then they then started fighting. And Kelly Kelly out of nowhere came and started beating up Vicky Guerrero, and then out of nowhere Dolph Ziggler got the zigzag, and then one, two, oh he kicks out. That was epic right there. I honestly believe Dolph Ziggler was gonna be world heavyweight champion right there. That um, another part was when everyone was down, the Vicky Guerrero was down, the ref was down, um, Dolph Ziggler was down, and. Edge was setting up the spear, got the spear, and got the edge, um, got the, I don't know, the imperative here, and then one, two, three, Edge retains. It was a really, really good match. We also got to see the execution, um, that submission hole. It was kind of like a half, um, half a sharpshooter, kind of like, yeah, that was a really cool, it's a really cool movie we used to do back in like around, back like 2004, 2005, when he first returned. Well, I gotta say that was a really good match. At least, at least a four stars. Four stars, I'd give that match definitely. Had me at the edge of my seat. Had me, really, I was really, really into that match. Next match on the night was um, the Miz versus Randy Orton, and I thought Rand, um, the Miz was gonna retain due to Alex Riley helping him get the win. So this was an okay match. It wasn't as great, great as the opener, but it was a decent match. Uh, even though Orton got the pop when he was coming out. Miz, the Boston crowd was more into Miz, um, way more into Miz. They were cheering Miz more than they, and they were kind of booing Orton. And it was, it wasn't a great match. Orton, um, obviously hasn't been known for putting on the best pay per view matches for the past couple of years, and this was a an okay match. It wasn't the best match. Um, actually, Miz showed more, I thought, more athleticism than um, Randy Orton throughout this match, and kind of held this match. Um, the Miz got, what was it, I didn't, oh, right, right, uh, who was out again, I can't remember, ah, mind freeze, oh, right, the new Nexus came out, and then, um, Miz was about to get the finish, and then, no, no, this will happen, sorry, Orton was about to do the RKO on the Miz, the new Nexus came out, um, Orton started at the Nexus, Alex Riley interrupted, and the referee was out, out during this time, outside the ring to tell the Nexus to get out. Alex Riley came in ring to get, to take out Randy Orton. Randy Orton threw Alex Riley into the new Nexus, and the referee was still outside, all the next new Nexus members were down. And then out of nowhere, CM Punk came, give the GTS on Randy Orton, and then pulls Miz, on to Randy Orton, one, two, three, Miz gets a victory, which was an okay match, which was, yeah, it was a really good, it was an okay match, it wasn't the best match, it wasn't the opener, but, um, we're gonna see on tomorrow night, who, why did Miz, um, CM Punk help Miz retain the WWE Championship, so Miz walking away with the stolen victory once again, uh, the next match was, Lake Cool versus Natalia, which was changed to a fatal four-way match, and Eve was added to the match, and people thought it was awesome Kong that was going to be added, but no, it was Eve, so that was whatever, and um, another garbage match, I did, I 
barely even paid attention to the match. I honestly didn't care, and Eve became the new Diva Champion. whoop de doo Who cares? Now it's time for the Royal Rumble match. The biggest Royal Rumble in history. 40-man Royal Rumble. So, to start off this match, we had Daniel Bryan versus CM Punk. And even um, Match Record itself said the internet crowd must love this match because they're both from the independent scene. And whatever. I honestly didn't care that much. It was okay seeing this. Uh, this started off pretty good. Um, CM Punk and Daniel Bryan started eliminating people when they started coming in. But that when the new Nexus came in, that's when it really started getting interesting. And um, more new... new more Nexus members started coming in and more people started coming in when all four the members of Nexus, what was it, uh, David Otung, no, Mason Ryan, Husky Harris, McGillicuddy, and CM Punk, that's when they really started getting interesting, and started, they started eliminating people, and, but then someone eliminated, uh, who was it, someone eliminated, one person in Nexus, and then, I think it was Husky Harris, and then David Otunga came out, and that that's when they started eliminating people. And the Nexus were dominating the Royal Rumble. Up until number 22, Super Cena has to come and rescue the day. Um, and then eliminate all four members of Nexus. I think, yeah, it was four or four. Yeah, it was three members, and then CM Punk and, and um, Cena were left in the ring still. Oh, by the way, I forgot to add Booker T returned. Booker T laid out all members of Nexus, and then the... Did the Smitteroon five time, five time WCW champion. But then after it got eliminated by Mason Ryan. Um, and then eventually CM Punk got eliminated by John Cena. And then him and Hornswoggle were left in the ring and started eliminating people until Kofi Kingston came in the ring. And that's when the Rumble started adding people more and more. And then the best part of the night was when Kevin Nash, Big Daddy Cool Diesel, got the huge. The biggest pop of the night, and people were chanting, Diesel, Diesel. Even when he got eliminated, like, a couple minutes later, people were still chanting Diesel. So, that Kevin Nash got a huge pop in the Royal Rumble match. Um, and, uh, they're really, after those two, <coughs> other than Booker T and Kevin Nash returning, there weren't really any, um, there wasn't really any return, only those two. There was no Chris Jericho, no Triple H. But the end of the match came in the final four where Randy Orton, Cena, Alberto De Rio, and Wade Bear. Kane was number 40, which was dis which issues. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> which was a huge disappointment because there was no big triumphal return. I think Kevin Nash should have been number 40. I would have been crazy. But anyways, Final four, so I was starting getting nervous. That's when I started getting nervous. So who's gonna go on to WrestleMania? Cena or Barrett or Alberto De Rio? <coughs> <coughs> I honestly thought Wade Barrett was gonna win. I did not want Cena or to win. I was I would have I would have ranted so much of them to won. It was funny how they did like a Hogan Warrior when them two were just facing each other. The crowd did no reaction whatsoever, so I guess WWE is going to figure out the picture that we do not want to see Orton versus Cena at WrestleMania. They literally, the crowd was dead when those two. They thought they were going to have a huge reaction. It had no reaction. Diesel was the biggest reaction of the night. But the end came when Alberto Del Rio, well, when Orton eliminated Wade, oh, sorry, I forgot one part. Miz was on commentary. He came, he came out of nowhere when um, Alex Riley got eliminated. And he himself eliminated John Cena at the Royal Rumble. So there might be an alliance with the Miz and Nexus because they helped him win. and then, But Miz helped Nexus by eliminating Cena from the Rumble because he's the one that eliminated all the members of Nexus. So we might not see that on Raw. But the ending come to the Royal Rumble when... Orton eliminated Wade Barrett, and Alberto Del Rio eliminated Randy Orton, and I thought it was over, and you can watch it in the video right here, and then all of a sudden, um, Santino Morello, we forgot he was eliminated, came out of nowhere, and I'm like, oh my god, please don't tell me, please don't tell me Santino Morello is going to win the Royal Rumble, but um, he got the Cobra, but then when, as soon as Santino Morello is about to throw out Alberto Del Rio, 
Alberto Del Rio reversed it and eliminated Santino Marella and Alberto Del Rio is the 2011 Royal Rumble winner. Wow. That is crazy. Alberto Del Rio is going on to WrestleMania 27. He has punched this ticket to WrestleMania 27. And he will now be in the main event. But who's who's the champion he's going to face? Because Elimination Chamber is probably one of the biggest twists of the pay-per-views. And for the past couple of years have been changing the world champion. So we don't know what's going to happen now. But Alberto Del Rio is our main event spot guy. And we'll be going on to WrestleMania 27. But I gotta say, for the past three WrestleManias, the Royal Rumble winner has have not won the world title. <coughs> but I think I'm both the real is gonna win the world title. I don't know. I'm kind of confused. I'm kind of happy that there's a new guy won, but I'm kind of sad that it's a Berto de Real. I thought people loved it, but I was I'm, honestly my feelings like whatever. I thought it was a really good Royal Rumble match, at least a four star Royal Rumble. But. Uh, overall, the paper was really good. It really delivered, I believe. The world, the two title matches were great, and the Royal Rumble once again was an unpredictable Royal Rumble. We didn't know who was going to win. I uh, personally thought CM Punk was going to start off at number one. When I'm like, wow, we're, CM Punk's going to start off at number one, and I honestly thought it was going to be CM Punk and Daniel Bryan at the last. We're going to make it to the end, and then Punk eliminated Daniel Bryan. I thought they should have done the Rumble like that, but. Whatever, Cena had to eliminate, but I'm so happy Cena didn't win the Rumble. I would have been so mad if Cena won the Royal Rumble in Boston, because that would have been a useless Royal Rumble, but whatever. Alberto the Rio, the Royal Rumble winner, that is my Royal Rumble review. I give this pay-per-view an 8 out of 10, because I thought I had fun with this pay-per-view. I thought it was great. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I will probably review Monday Night Raw tonight. So check that out. Thanks for watching.